That old no good fool, he shut. No, he went stupid. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 36. Look what the Lord said about us now. 32 and 36. Go ahead. For the Lord shall judge his people uh -huh. and repent himself for his servants when he seeth that their power is gone. He's not the Lord going to judge his people. And he's going to repent himself. He's going to repent himself when he see that they don't have no power left. None shut up. Then he going to fix it. Skip down to verse 43. 43 and go ahead. Rejoice, O ye nations, uh -huh. with his people. Go ahead. For he will avenge the blood of his servants uh -huh. and will render vengeance to his adversaries uh -huh. and will be merciful to his land and to his people. So he said, I want you to rejoice, nation, because the Lord is still now. Look here. Because he's going he to avenge his, his, his people now. And he's going to bring vengeance on his adversary. Mm -hmm. That's why I said we brought some drama on people that didn't have to have it. Because the Lord used people to punish people. But the Lord said, I was a little pleased, but you have furthered this riches. Now you have made an addition. So when's the Lord going to take vengeance on the people that he used to whoop his people that was overzealous in the whooping? That's when he started come, the great tribulation, and the time of Armageddon when the Lord take down Babylon and the nations, sister and brother. Let's go quickly to Jeremiah, the fifth chapter. The Lord said, he's going to do this now. I saw all the nations that have rejoiced and enjoyed the pleasures and really overkill. And re See, you can, you can be a master or slave owner without being evil and mean and abusive. People can't do nothing anyway. You don't have to decide, I think I'm going to castrate somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go out there and steal uh, or break the law by raping somebody. Oh, uh, for to have fun, ain't got no sports, so I go out and I hang me somebody. Or I think I just beat somebody because I want to see yeah. a, how they skin look when I put lashes on them. See, you the kind that the Lord's going to deal with. And the nations have been hard on Israel, so the Lord said, now, it is your time now. Jeremiah 50, and let's start at verse 1. Jeremiah 50 and 1. Jeremiah the 50 chapter and verse 1. Okay, go ahead. The word that the Lord spake against Babylon uh -huh. and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. See, now, this Babylon, sisters and brothers, this ain't talking about Nebuchadnezzar's Babylon. This is Babylon the Great. We see over there at, New, uh, at European Economic Community. He said, the Lord, the word that the Lord spoke about. Uh, go ahead. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Uh -huh. Say, Babylon is taken. Baal is confounded. Merodach is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. He said, I want you to declare among the nations. This is what he's going to do. Go ahead and read. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her. Now, whole thing, sisters and brothers, we got the European economic community. which is north, west, Europe. But we have a nation out of north, east Europe that's going to come against her. Russia and all of her allies. The Lord is calling. He said, I'm going to do this. Yeah. Go ahead and read. We shall make her land desolate, uh -huh. and none shall dwell therein. Go ahead. They shall move. They shall depart, they both sh man and beast. They shall remove, and they shall depart, depart man and beast. But put your finger here, because we're going to go and look at this Babylon. Because this is somewhat Babylon the Great, not Nebuchadnezzar's Babylon. Let's go into the 18th chapter of Revelation. But keep your marker here. We're coming right back. Revelation 18 chapter. Revelation 18 chapter. Because I want you to understand, the Lord called this thing. He called it all from the beginning. He let you know what's going to happen. Brother asked me one time, well, brother, how do you know that the Lord's going to come down and, and take down the nation with wall? I said, because he told me he's going to put me in captivity. He's going to lock me up in jail. Right. He's going to sell me. He's going to let my daughters be used and abused. And he's going to make me the tale. I said, all that stuff that happened to me. Yeah. What, you, what make me think that he ain't, I'm going to pay all that he said don't happen to me, and y'all going to get away? <laughs> no, that's why he said he sent that cup to all the nations. So I called my people to drink of this cup. You think y'all going to escape? Revelation 18 and 1. This is Babylon that we're that we talking about in Jeremiah. Go ahead and read. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Uh -huh. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Go ahead. Babylon, the great, is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, uh -huh. and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. That's the European economic community. It's called Babylon the Great, sister and brother, because that's still Nebuchadnezzar's realm. 
Everything that they ruled, Nebuchadnezzar was the first one to rule over. That's why he had that statue that wasn't broken from head to toe. Babylon, first Gentile, and the first man to rule the whole earth. Be Babylon the greatest fallen, the fallen, and it's become a place for hateful birds. Go ahead and read. Three, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. That's this false religion. Go ahead and read. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Uh -huh. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. First thing you got to do is come out of her mentally. And now you're going the time gonna come when you're gonna have to come out of her physically. Cause when the drummer fall, it's gonna hit everybody there. Now let's go back. I told you to keep your spot, didn't I? Let's go back to 50th chapter of Jeremiah. And we have one more place after that. Jeremiah chapter 50. Because I want you to know what Babylon we was talking about. This is the one that we're looking over there under the name of the European Economic Community, or just the team. This is gonna happen in our time. We're gonna see that. Verse 4, go ahead. In those days and in that time, said the Lord, uh -huh. the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping. They shall go and seek the Lord their God. That's when you're going to be gathered. When the Lord take down European economic community and cripple Russia during the war of Armageddon, you will not be gathered as a people the day before. Anybody that's going to Jerusalem now is in trouble. Yes. Because Israel will not be go. He said, those days in that time. Yes. Go ahead and read. Verse 5. They shall ask the way to Zion. They're going to ask the way to Zion now, not the way to heaven now. Right. To Zion, Jerusalem, city of David. Go ahead and read. With their faces dizzled, uh -huh. saying, come and let us join ourselves to the Lord. Go ahead. In a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. He said, all of a sudden you're going to know that the Lord is a covenant God. Go ahead and read. My people have been lost sheep. Uh -huh. Their shepherds have called them to go astray. So my people have been lost sheep, and you still. And who's calling you to go astray? Your shepherds. And yes, who's sir. still calling you to go astray? Your shepherd. The one that's standing right here where I am. Go ahead and read. Their shepherds have called them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. Uh -huh. They have gone from mountain to hill. Uh -huh. They have forgotten their resting place. They turn you away on, in the government. You've gone from government, big government, to small government. You have forgotten your resting place. You don't know where you come from. You've forgotten. Go ahead and read. Seven. All that found them have devoured them. How many devoured them? Oh. Look around your neighborhood and see all the nationalities. And then go back and check on slavery. See who didn't have a part in it. All that found you. Devout. So go ahead and read. And the adversary said, we offend not, uh -huh. because they have sinned against the Lord, the habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Did, look, these people didn't even feel that they was offending nobody. You understand? All you got to go is look at it. They didn't feel like nothing. They didn't they were offending nobody, because look, you turned against your God. You see, you know, you, you, then you got the clans. And then you see some of these slaves, how they do everything, you know. They just treated you like you was an animal. Because, hey, we ain't offending God. Ku Klux Klan have a slave thing. God is on our side. And you know what really frightened me? I knew they wasn't lying. Think about it. What verse are we? We have verse 8. Go ahead and read. Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of Chaldeans and be as he as he goes before the flocks. And didn't, we, didn't the Lord tell you that in Revelation 18 chapter? Yes. Remove first here. Then physically, he going to remove you. You're going to go asking the way of Zion, yes, sisters sir. and mothers. Skip down to verse 16. Verse 16, the Lord going to give you the crux of the whole thing. Go, go ahead and read. Cut off the sword from Babylon uh -huh. and him that handles the sickle in the time of harvest. Go ahead. For fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn everyone to his people and they shall flee everyone to his own land. See, look, Babylon, a European economic community is made up of a whole lot of different nations. And they all going to be gathered. But the Lord, when he dropped that sword down there, ain't nobody going to trust nobody. Everybody going to turn to their own people and everybody going to flee to their own land. But if you got a Sunday preacher, where is your land, Mr. Negro? I just had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Make it plain. Why is it? Where did you come from before you hit Mississippi? Where did you come from before you hit West Africa? 
So everybody know where they come from. That's why everybody know talk about the old country. You can't talk about the old country. Because your God, he's going to scatter you everywhere. Go ahead and read. What Se- verse? 17. Uh-huh. Israel is a scattered sheep. Uh-huh. The lions have driven him away. Go, he said Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions have driven him away. Go ahead. First, the king of Assyria had devoured him. Look, the king of Assyria took away the nine tribes. Yes. Go ahead and read. And last. And they ain't never been back. Go ahead and read. And last, this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, has broken his bones. And Nebuchadnezzar, that's why it's called Babylon the Great. Because since Nebuchadnezzar took Israel out the land, only time they would allow the hand for them to go back to Jerusalem during the Roman time, so Jesus would have a place to come. And Ezra and Nehemiah they had to build a temple so he would have a place to come. But after that, the captivity is complete. And the Lord said, in those days, in that time, is he going to care for the people? That's when he comes. This is the last place. Let's go to Zechariah, the second chapter. Zechariah, the second chapter. See, the Lord told you what was going to happen to you, how he's going to go upside your head, but then he told you how he's going to deliver you, and the people that went upside your head with too much zeal, he's going to go upside their head. That's what I like about this God. He tells you everything. Therefore, even when in trouble, you don't have to despair because you know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, Zechariah 2 and verse 7. Zechariah 2 and 7. Go ahead and read. Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughters of Babylon. He said it there, didn't he? Told you to deliver yourself in 18th chapter of Revelation. Told you to deliver yourself in the 50th chapter of Jeremiah. And he's telling you to do it here in the 2nd chapter of Zechariah. Go ahead and read. For thus said the Lord of hosts, uh-huh. after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. Go ahead. For he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. Now who is this Lord of hosts that was sent? Jesus. After the glory, Jesus said, have the Father, he the Father sent me to the nation. And you kick it against Jesus? And he said, he that Touches Israel, touches the apple of the Father's eye. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. For behold, I will shake my hand upon them. He said, For behold, I'm going to shake my hand upon them. Go ahead and read. And they shall be a spoil to their servants. Uh huh. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. He said, When you have a few servants that you can spoil, not mistreat, then you're going to know that the Father sent me. This is Jesus talking. Go ahead and read. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion. Uh huh. For lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, saith the Lord. He said, I want you to sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, because I'm coming. Look here, I'm coming, and I'm going to dwell in the midst of you. Go ahead and read. And many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, Uh and shall be my people. Go ahead. And I will dwell in the midst of thee, and thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto thee. He said, then many nations going to be Join unto the Lord. That's when the Lord's going to adopt all of the rest of the sons of Adam. He said, but still I'm going to dwell in the midst of you, O Israel. Then you shall know that the Lord of hosts have sent me. Sisters and brothers, this lesson the Lord called me to put together was strictly for the Hebrew Israelites. Stop blaming people for what our fathers brought upon us. Stop hating people. Stop feeling so pumped up and pompous because you find out you're Israel. And get you a little humility and a little shame and get down in this book and learn how to become what you was chosen to be. That's the priest of God. I thank you for your time. Now we have the announcement.